call yourself a mother? Who cares? I do. I don't. Oh, bad girls you love to hate. Today on Judge Joe Brown. A couple of car crashes after Valentine's Day killed the love between cousins. Cashier Shakita Thomas is suing her cousin for damages to her vehicle. Defendant Letitia Cobray says the plaintiff's estimate was too high. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Ms. Thomas, it would appear that you're suing your cousin, Ms. Cobray. That's correct, Your Honor. Let's see. You are a couple of years older than her, three years older than her, and it would appear that you had a 97 Honda Accord. Yes, Your Honor. Now, is it or is it not the fact that on Valentine's Day you loaned that Honda Accord to her? Yes. It was not Valentine's Day. It was around Valentine's Day, but no, it was not. Well, exactly okay, Valentine's on Day. or about or during the period of get it right of uh, February and 2006. Is it or is it not the fact, ma'am, that you allege you loaned your 1997 Honda Accord to the defendant in this cause? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And why did you do that, please, ma'am? I loaned the vehicle to her because she needed to get to work. And at that point in time, I worked right down the street from where I lived so I could walk to work. So you walked to work, she drove your car to work? Yes. Now, was the vehicle returned to you in the same condition in which you tendered it to the defendant? No, it was not, Your Honor. What was the damage? The first incident was the grill. The front grill was totally torn up in the front end. It was damaged Did bad. you get any advisement from the defendant as to how that happened? She told me at that time that a friend of hers backed the U-Haul into the truck. I mean, oh. into the car. The U-Haul truck right. into now. the vehicle. And girl, that little bit of damage the... to that grill. Excuse me a second. You act like that did car you, was did brand you new not and agree it was raggedy to... Please don't interrupt. Did you... Please don't interrupt. Did you or did you not agree to becoming involved in a lease with the defendant? Yes. At that point in time, had she agreed to repair your motor vehicle? Yes. Now, you allege that there was a second accident in that motor vehicle. What happened on that occasion? On that occasion, she was um, going to work, and she was trying to hide the vehicle from the stalking ex-girlfriend. And she, she pulled goes up my ex-girlfriend at the time. Well... Kermit girlfriend, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, your right. honor. You Whatever know, you yeah. may it say, it doesn't make right. any. It doesn't make any difference. Go ahead. She hid the car, was trying to hide the car, and she hid it supposedly or allegedly in between a trash can dumpster and the back of the building where she was employed. And some kind of way, this long indention, deep dent, is on the vehicle. Okay, but if you would have took it to a reasonable place yeah, instead stop, of trying stop, to take it to Honda so you and get a high dollar excuse estimate, me. Excuse me. honey. Excuse me. So you acknowledge that this damage occurred while you had the vehicle in your possession? Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Darn deal. That's it. Okay, next matter. But I now, just asked excuse her me. to get another excuse estimate me. from somewhere excuse else. Excuse me. She doesn't have to. Well, now, next that's why point she on. still ain't got her money. You know, she's making a very good witness for you. All right, next point over here, we have a situation with her walking out on the rent. What's that? Um, at that point in time, the <clears throat> ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend was the ex-girlfriend, so she needed a place to stay. And so my lease was due to be signed again for the next year lease, and I decided we came up into an agreement that she needed a place to stay. I would upgrade to another bedroom, and I will sign this lease. You with signed her. the lease. Signed the lease. What was her day of monthly rental? Uh, two ninety two fifty. All right. Did she pay that for the entire term of the lease? No, Your Honor, she did not. She paid for four months, and then skipped out on the rest of the lease. It was like five months. Have you been paid anything back? No, Your Honor, I have not. Now, during this three-year period from Valentine's Day on, or about. Uh, 2006, is it also the case that you made a loan to her for $2,000? Yes, Your Honor, I did. What was the purpose for that loan? I loaned her the $2,000 because at that point I took on a second job and I needed my car because I was delivering pizza. So I gave her, we talked about it as adults, 
and I came up with the agreement. Okay, I have this extra money. I will loan you the $2,000 for that you can get you a vehicle to drive to and from work. So that way I was, get, I was insured that I knew for a fact she would get to work and have the money for the bills. Why were you so helpful to her? Because she was my favorite cousin. And had you ever lived together before? We had never lived together before, right. but... And you're 31 now, she's 28? Yes, Your Honor. You've got a 15-year-old son, 14-year-old girl, 11-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. You've got a 6-year-old girl and a 3-year-old girl. So all of you were living in this home? And no, my kids wasn't. My kids was in Oklahoma. Mm, all right. Yours were there with you? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I've gotten sworn accounting from you and documentation to support that. If you have the copies, please pass that to Madam Sonia. And as soon as my dear bailiff passes these up to the arbitrator, and yours truly, we will go to the defendant. Now, Ms. Cobra, you have the floor. Now, already you've admitted that you had the vehicle in your possession when the front uh, grill was damaged. Okay, but I didn't Apparently back the from someone back in the U-Haul into it, and there's another it occasion. I didn't bag it into that. What's that got to do with whether you did or not? It's a bailment. You know what a bailment is? Uh, no. What a bailment means is simply an old law, and it's about a thousand some years old. If you acquire the personal property of another, you have an obligation to return the personal property to the owner in the same condition you received it absent ordinary wear and tear. The damage we have is not ordinary wear and tear. We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. Oh, you want to get locked up? We do that all the I've time. I've been there before. Hey, wait a minute. That's why you lost your job at the Waffle House. I had you been eating too much of the product. Dog, yeah. were you sitting there giving them attitude since you want to cop it? Bad girls you love to hate today on Judge Joe Brown. We're back with Judge Joe Brown. The plaintiff in this case put up with her cousin damaging her car twice but still moved in with her. She says the defendant used to be her favorite cousin and she got nothing for it but heartache. Let's take a look. The next point is, is your girlfriend's after you, you had the plaintiff's vehicle, and well, whatever. You have the plaintiff's vehicle at that point in time. It received further damage beyond ordinary wear and tear. So that means you need to go find somebody to sue if you want to recover. Next point we have into you sign the lease, unless you contest this is be you on the lease. And relative to that, you're obligated for a 12-month period, and the lease is in one lump sum broken down into 12 installments. You say you lost your job because your girlfriend was messing with you and caused you to lose your job. That's not the plaintiff's problem. You owe her for the rent. Anything to say? Else? You know what's amazing about you? You come I'll in here with an attitude, got your arms crossed okay, defensively, so, I'm you're and mad and that. angry because your, I can do that. Daughter, I'm your grown cousin hell, brought you in all, but you're wrong. No, you're dead wrong, but when I was badly there, wrong, she say violently about her wrong, son going way my wrong. Room, you don't my... have a leg to stand on, and oh, you come in here with attitude. So what? So what? You know what they call that? I don't give a damn what they call it. That's a $50 assessment, $100 administrative I assessment. Don't care. Oh, you want to get locked up? We do that all I've the time. I've been there before. Gee, wait a minute. That's why you lost your job at the Waffle House. Or had you been eating too much of the product? Or were you sitting there giving them attitude since you want to cop it? And nobody wanted you waiting on their table. No, honey, I make money. That's plenty what you money. do? I well, I tell you money. what, we've got L.A. County down here, oh, and they man. got some women in there just got back trying to resolve the last good, felony before they let them good, go after two good. days. Send me they there. might have a That'll good be time a with you. Because I love women, honey. Why don't love you love yourself? I love them, honey. I do. Why don't you start I loving do. yourself? I do. I do. Yeah, I love, try loving I yourself. Love myself, Come honey. up in here with all kinds sure of attitude. Do. You embarrass your family. Oh, you embarrass well. yourself. You talk about she bad no, mouth you. I she doesn't have to bad mouth you. You money. illustrate her point. I never said I wasn't going to give her, her money. Truth is an absolute defense. I told defense. her to give me time to give her money. You don't need money. any time. Go you should have gotten your head together. Honda Get your life together. Hey, and on top of it, you got two children. What so, do we get right now? You don't even like men, so how'd you get them? <laughs> Too broke busted to get artificial insemination, so what's the problem? 
You switch up to check and see if the plumbing still works? Yeah, that's exactly what I do. So what, what kind I of do. parent are you? That's, that's what exactly we get for an attitude do, from a parent. You no don't damn wonder we got such hell going on in the country. You don't even know and then, me. Uh, yeah, I know you. No, I'm looking you at you. You're looking you mean, at me, but you don't You mean you act me. like this in front of strangers? I, I don't give a fuck about listen to you. Is this way you act in public? Y'all don't do I bet nothing. you wanted them to get Not your children up there thing. and start calling them the N word and all you little Honey, bees so and little this MFs up in front of everybody at the grocery store. Sure yeah, know. we're looking and at I'm an incompetent you look at you. It's another hundred. And you call yourself a mother? No damn wonder we got such hell when we got mothers like you. Okay, well, who cares? I do. I don't. Oh, well, I As figured you, you wouldn't. See. That's it. Motherhood without giving a damn about it. What are you, breeding animal? Just yeah. happens to get bred yeah, out in the that's barnyard? That's exactly what I am. A, You're a, a human act animal. like one instead of a reject. I'm a domestic animal, baby. I agree with you. Um, so you went over here, 5000 in your car. That'll be your award. Who gives? And your car. Thank you, you Call yourself a mother. Who cares? I do. I don't. Oh, bad girls you love to hate. Today on Judge Joe Brown. A couple of car crashes after Valentine's Day killed the love between cousins. Cashier Shakita Thomas is suing her cousin for damages to her vehicle. Defendant Letitia Cobre says the plaintiff's estimate was too high. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Miss Thomas, it would appear that you're suing your cousin, Miss Cobre. That's correct, Your Honor. Let's see, you are a couple of years older than her, three years older than her, and it would appear that you had a 97 Honda Accord. Yes, Your Honor. Now, is it or is it not the fact that on Valentine's Day you loaned that Honda Accord to her? Yes. It was not Valentine's Day. It was around Valentine's Day, but no, it was not. Well, exactly okay, Valentine's on Day. or about or during the period of... Get it right of uh, February and 2006, is it or is it not the fact, ma'am, that you allege you loaned your 1997 Honda Accord to the defendant in this cause? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And why did you do that, please, ma'am? I loaned the vehicle to her because she needed to get to work. And at that point in time, I worked right down the street from where I lived, so I could walk to work. So you walked to work, she drove your car to work? Yes. Now, was the vehicle returned to you in the same condition in which you tendered it to the defendant? No, it was not, Your Honor. What was the damage? The first incident was the grill. The front grill was totally torn up in the front end. It was damaged Did bad. you get any advisement from the defendant as to how that happened? She told me at that time that a friend of hers backed the U-Haul into the truck. I mean, oh. into the car. The U-Haul right. truck into now. the vehicle. And girl, that little bit of damage the... to that grill. Excuse me a second. You act like that did car you, was did brand you new not and agree it was raggedy. To... Please don't interrupt. Did you, it, please don't interrupt. Did you or did you not agree to becoming involved in a lease with the defendant? Yes. At that point in time, had she agreed to repair your motor vehicle? Yes. Now, you allege that there was a second accident in that motor vehicle. What happened on that occasion? On that occasion, she was um, going to work, and she was trying to hide the vehicle from the stalking ex-girlfriend. And she, she pulled my ex-girlfriend at the time. Well, Kermit girlfriend, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, your right. honor. You know, it, you say, it, doesn't make right. any, it doesn't make any difference. Go ahead. She hid the car, was trying to hide the car, and she hid it supposedly or allegedly in between a trash can dumpster and the back of the building where she was employed. And some kind of way, this long indention, deep dent, is on the vehicle. Okay, but if you would have took it to a reasonable place yeah, instead stop, of trying stop, to take stop, it to stop. Honda so you and get a high dollar excuse estimate, me. Excuse me. honey. Excuse me. So you acknowledge that this damage occurred while you had the vehicle in your possession? Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Darn deal, that's it. Okay, next matter. But I now, just asked excuse her, me. get another excuse estimate me. from somewhere excuse else. Excuse me, she doesn't have to. Well, now, next that's why portal. she still ain't got her money. You know, she's making a very good witness for you. All right, next point over here, we have a situation with her walking out on the rent. What's that? Um... At that point in time, the 
ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend was the ex-girlfriend. So she needed a place to stay. And so my lease was due to be signed again for the next year lease. And I decided we came up into an agreement that she needed a place to stay. I would upgrade to another bedroom. And I will sign this lease. You signed the lease. Signed the lease. What was her day a uh, monthly rental? Uh, two ninety two fifty. All right. Did she pay that for the entire term of the lease? No, Your Honor, she did not. She paid for four months, and then skipped out on the rest of the lease. It was like five months. Have you been paid anything back? No, Your Honor, I have not. Now during.